Meantime, health teams were stationed at the House of Assembly where parliamentarians and staff of parliament received their first jab of the AstraZeneca vaccine. More from Jesse Leos. More parliamentarians got vaccinated this week as part of the Ministry of Health's mission to build public trust early on in its national campaign. On Thursday, 4th March, a vaccination center was set up at Parliament Building to accommodate. Shortly after taking his injection at that location, Leader of the Parliamentary Opposition, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, reaffirmed his support of the COVID-19 vaccine. It is always my intention to take it. And I want to encourage all solutions to take it. Because in the fight against COVID, we have to follow the science. And the science says that the vaccination is, in, is a means where we can protect ourselves and mitigate against the, the effects of this dreaded virus. I want to encourage all solutions to follow. I want to say to the people who are most vulnerable to ensure that they follow the science and get vaccinated. Speaker of the House of Assembly, Honorable Andy Daniel, was also vaccinated at Parliament Building on Thursday. As Speaker of the House of Assembly, as one of the leaders of, in St. Lucia, we must all lead by example. We must take the first step so that the people, the nation, will follow. And it is very important that us, the leaders of St. Lucia, take that step to show St. Lucia that it is in the best interest to be vaccinated. The Ministry of Health this week intensified its vaccination drive with a 13-venue schedule island-wide for senior citizens and persons with chronic health conditions. The feedback on the ground has been very good um, thus far. The clinics have been very heavy with a full flow throughout the day. And we anticipate tomorrow as we have um, six clinic sites available that we will get increases in numbers. That was Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmont-George. Uh, Dr. George adds that plans are underway to offer vaccination to the island's teachers and the tourism sector workforce in the coming weeks. The public, meanwhile, is encouraged to register urgently with their nearest community wellness center or online at hmi.govt.lc. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.